So we just played a lot of FIFA and like the Journey and like you know multiplayer and stuff like that. And since you're using uh, Frostbite Engine, actually, um, how have you collab collaborated with with Dice? Like, do you basically sit down in meetings and I don't know discuss certain like features that have like crossovers in Battlefield One and in FIFA, or, or how's that working? The collaboration doesn't work quite like that, but uh, the collaboration has been massive for us uh, moving to the Frostbite Engine. That's one of the big pillars of of, of of why we did it and one of the big benefits we get from moving to the Frostbite Engine is, is the ability for us to collaborate uh, with a lot of other studios. DICE is a great example. With the Frostbite Engine comes a brand new rendering engine. You, you know, you, if you look at the game FIFA 17, how, how our night lighting works and, and, and you see some of the images we put out about what the visuals look like. A lot of that stuff is, or all of it's built on the new engine, um, but uh, a lot of that that, that the benefit that we got from that was stuff that we had to learn how to use the new tools. So a great example is Dice Guys coming over to educate us on how we use the Frostbite tools to be able to create great things in FIFA. Mm. Uh, another good example of collaboration, we're building the journey in, in, in FIFA 17 and, and, and you've had a chance to play it today. That's something that we're, we're brand new at on, on, on FIFA franchises. We've never built a story-driven, cinematic-driven mode. But we know that our friends at BioWare, who also are on the Frostbite technology, have. So when we reach out for them for advice on how to do that, we don't just talk theoretically about how to build them. We can actually speak on brass tacks about what technology we're using uh, uh, to be able to accomplish the things that we need to. So the ability for us to be able to reach out to different studios, DICE, BioWare, a whole bunch of other studios uh, uh, around the EA uh, company have been able to help us and, and are at our fingertips to be able to have those conversations, speaking the same language when we're on the same technology. And have you actually brought in on also like um, writers from Bioware or stuff like that? We haven't brought in writers for, for, for the journey from Bioware. Uh, we, we, we had our own writer that we contracted, Mark Corden. We also did a lot of uh, consulting with a lot of people. Uh, uh, um, Tom Watt was a consultant for the, for the, for the game. He was a, a sports writer as well. Uh, wrote David Beckham's autobiography. Um, we reached out to players, Marcus Rashford, uh, uh, Harry Key, uh, uh, um, uh, um, sorry. Uh, we reached out to uh, uh, Deli Alley, we reached out to uh, uh, all of our ambassadors of sport, uh, Anthony Martial, uh, uh, Marco Royce, uh, um, um, Harry Kane, I, I mentioned before. Um, um, all of these guys were there in the early stages reading the script, um, making sure that it was authentic to their experiences as they grew up as footballers, uh, that they felt that it was true to the sport. Um, so we had a lot of people involved in the process, uh, working with our creative talent to make sure that the journey was the most authentic experience we could have. Yeah, because you kind of have like a, the same multiple choice system like in Mass Effect, right? Yeah, I think, and that's something that, while it's not the, the exact same technology that they have, it was something that was inspired by them. And, and, I, and as I said before, Telling a cinematic story uh, in a sports franchise is something that's brand new to us. So we do look to, to the best in the industry, and thankfully for us, they're just down the road in, in terms of Bioware uh, uh, in, in Edmonton. We can, we can collaborate quite closely with those guys, and, and we look to them for how to be able to, to accomplish this task uh, of bringing this, the journey to, to our fans. And so we took inspiration from some of their, from some of their ideas and some of their techniques as well, and our, and our conversation wheel is one of those things that we did we were inspired by the fireworks. Yeah, we just played it like almost a, like a day or like a half day and it's pretty interesting that it's like a very emotional journey, right? Like it's a lot of, like have you, is that something basically that the, that like Marco Royce and stuff like that brought on the table because it's interesting that you have this buddy and kind of like you go with him to Liverpool or the club you choose but then he gets better than you and he gets more successful and all of a sudden he's kind of like an asshole and not sending back taxes and stuff like that. It's, it's interesting, it's almost like high school, but also a bit like job, but. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we leveraged a lot of, a lot of things. Again, we, we had those ambassadors that I, that I spoke about already that were weigh in on the authenticity of the story, but we have a lot of football fans, and we had a lot of close to pros uh, working at, at EA, as well as some ex-pros working at EA as well. Uh, so we have a lot of football knowledge from within the buildings. We, were, we have through our license and through our partnerships, we have a lot of access to, to authentic football uh, 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 personas and, and, and the writers that we hired are engrossed in the football world. And that really led us to be able to, to, to get a story that was uh, engaging and emotionally engaging and under, understanding of the other side of football, which is a big part of the journey as well. 
And is actually a difference which kind of team you choose at the, at the first, uh, like in the beginning? Yeah, you go through the exit trial at the beginning and based on your performance you'll have a choice of, of, of the, 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 the teams in the Premier League to, to sign with and, and your contract will vary again based on your performance. But uh, the, you can choose any of the teams that, that there are uh, in the Premier League. But is the experience different? Because I choose like Liverpool and obviously they're like one of the best clubs in the world. What if you choose more one of those kind of like, I don't know, they're Premier League but they're not really you know, they're probably like uh, the lower the lower scores. Yeah, so there's a lot of divergence points in the story. And the first uh, significant one is the point at which you choose your club. Uh, immediately, your story is going to be different than my story. You chose Liverpool. I'm an Arsenal fan. I'd probably choose Arsenal <laughs> unless my contract wasn't good enough. <laughs> and then I'd maybe choose another team. Um, but there's divergence right there. Right through uh, the whole mode as you're battling, we don't want to control the story until you exactly how you're going to reach glory or, or what's going to happen. It's up to you in your hands and how you perform with your team. There's, there's, uh, you know, come the end of the season, uh, you can be battling for Premiership glory, you could be in a relegation battle, you could be middle table, you could be trying to get a place in Europe, uh, and all of these things are possible based on your play. The, the key thing in, in, in the journey is we wanted to make sure that connection to what you did on the pitch was paramount, uh, and it always was was at the forefront of the journey, and that's where the connection to, to Alex Hunter comes from, from our fans. Uh, when you look at what happens in gameplay, we have the, the, the feedback mechanism where we're telling you how you perform and we're tracking your score because every kick of the ball matters.